Well, good morning, uh, YouTubers. Bruce Bender here, BTHV1. Bruce the Handyman version 1 is a handyman never does the same thing twice. Well, on this little video, we're just going to uh, take apart this little tiny uh, cordless phone battery. I uh, bought it for $3 at a surplus store. And it is a, an 800 milliamp uh, rechargeable battery. And the one I'm replacing in the uh, cordless phone, it's a, I think it's Panasonic, is a 600 milliamp. And they're both nickel metal hydride, so they should go into the charger. But I'm just going to take it apart and uh, see if it's a standard uh, AAA rechargeable. Oh, <laughs> that's pretty fast. So uh, we'll just do that right now. Sorry about that. Good. Okay. Well, pretty much yes. When I go to replace the other one, so I'm just going to get the meter. I don't know if there's any charge in this is all. It's probably been sitting in the surplus store for years. 1.1 volts. And that one's insulated. So we're going to have to disassemble this. I'm thinking. But I'm not going to disassemble this until I take the phone one apart. So that'll be it for this video for now. Hello. We're back on the uh, rechargeable telephone battery. This phone... Boo. This battery came out of this telephone and uh, it is now only holding a charge for about five minutes. So you saw the earlier video. Uh, I have now soldered the ends of this battery to be very very similar to this battery. And all I have to do is get this connector moved from here to here and we're away. The white will be the positive, as versus the old one was red positive. And uh, that's about it. So now I'm just going to cut this connector off and stick it on here. I'll leave enough slack. So that uh, we don't... That's all those spark there when I cut that little baby heat shrink here. So how can you lose stuff on a bench, eh? Are we getting this in the shot? Sort of.
So there we have the uh, first positive connection. The white comes off the positive of the first battery. Now these these are not like a typical triple A battery, but they're close. I really like using this old car mat for stuff because it, it just catches things. Alright, this is the finished product. I uh, put the uh, individual batteries into this charger. It'll hold a double A or a triple A. So they just barely fit in there on the triple A portion. And I charged them up just so that I could use them before I put them into the phone. And uh, so that's that. see on my uh, solder job there that uh, the two wires have heat shrink so they won't short out and the length is very similar almost identical to the uh, to the other battery and uh, we'll just uh, plug her in and see if she flies You saw it first here on BTHV1TV. Have a good day.